Welcome to the beautiful indoor studios in downtown Cancun, Mexico. I'm using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck today um, and um, doing this old family read, which to me is like the uh, most mm, dearest to my heart, I should say. It's a little tricky because I normally don't read for myself. Uh, when I was very first start tarot, I was you know, reading everything, researching, and you know, a lot of me, I'm headstrong, I'm like, oh, man, I'm not going to, I don't buy that. <laughs> but when I heard, like, don't read for yourself, I got it. And in the case that I do, it's really necessary. I steal myself. And, because tarot doesn't say what, you know, we want necessarily. That's the whole thing. It's talking about our, what our soul wants, what our soul needs. And, you know, when I do personal readings, you know, it's always confidential. But just often, you know, people get a reading or love reading. I mean, it's not because things are going well, you know. Um, and often, you know, they want to hear it's going to be okay, they really do love me, they're going to leave their wife or husband and be with me like they're saying, or whatever it is that, that you want, and it's kind of like what we want, what our ego wants, and, you know, Tara's going to consistently speak uh, from the soul about what the soul wants, and I think it speaks really to your guides and angels, but, you know, so same for myself, so you have to be prepared to to hear the truth, not necessarily what you want, you know. That's the other thing about tarot, it just answers, it just answers questions, you know, it's not, uh, I don't know, to say that, because some people seem to think it's like magic or something, I think uh, there's energy that can heal in a whole lot of different ways, <laughs> I don't know, I think with tarot as an astrologer too, astrology's kind of the same way, you know, and both of them, what they could do is like be, be the, you know, maybe you come in, something's wrong. Well, what's the first thing you're going to do? Run some tests, x-rays. That's what tarot is. And that's what definitely astrology is. And then, uh, then they can say from the x-rays, well, uh, third house, communication, uh, local environment. Uh, there's your malefic planet, Saturn, um, restricting, da-da-da. And you can begin to diagnose and then make suggestions for treatment. And uh, you really, I think, it's best to either hold looking at it like a doctor is a good way to do it you know but a general practitioner not a specialist someone that can take all the information and just stalt that into like a diagnosis or something helpful so with the soul family just think terence mckenna find the others i'm just going to do four cards i did priest shuffle guys in um, the hierophant <laughs> now this is to show us uh, where we're at where our heart is at, and where our mind is at, and where we spiritually are at, where our soul is at. This is what this is, because in this reading, it's a soul reading about manifestation, spirituality, primarily. <sighs> We're there. i tell you, something that comes to mind with this is, is like, well, I just got this feeling of respect, and I suddenly feel a little cold and vulnerable. I was feeling really good a minute ago. I want to get up and turn off the fan, um, um, but it's, it's not cold. I'm just a pussy, honestly. Um, but um, we really are entering a new cycle. I someone comment. I'm really feeling it now. It's like everything's lining up just like I figured it would, and just like it. Well, it's not just me. It's like in the stars. Just like the map says, it's all kind of coming down. Uh, look at it guys because this next few weeks here between now and the eclipse and then we got the solstice coming in and that's a wrap for the 8-8 Lionsgate manifestation. We should be seeing our manifestation just tumbling in and don't be surprised if it comes in at the last minute and, and, uh, and uh, on a dime. <laughs> but uh, what comes to mind for me with this hair font here now is responsibility. And I don't, it's kind of negative but I, I'm going to like wow it's like you know how can i put it if i made the same mistake now with full knowledge that i have of everything in the full ramifications of everything and i were to make a mistake i were to do something dishonest or not did not live up especially sagittarius did not in any way live up to my own uh, inner uh, sense of value well uh it'd be a lot to pay it'd be a heavy cost to pay for that uh, heavier than usual in my opinion you know in terms of karma uh, once we kind of reach a certain level uh, we also uh, have a lot more responsibility you know and so 
you know, would suffer a heavier consequence, though. I mean, if you can manifest something, and then you do something essentially evil in some way, yeah, not good. Now, here is her crossing position, a hermit, right? Um, normally, I say often it can be just that the energy of the card is reversed, but not so here, because the energy of the hermit reversed is like you, it, it could be valid too. You've been in it long enough, and you're about to come out, and you know, you might be having a little trouble with it, you know, um, like that would be the reverse is kind of, and it's the same, I guess, is like, uh, you're, you're, um, you're not wanting to come out. You're in a comfort zone of uh, inner learning, turning the light. He's turning the light on the hermit, <laughs> you know, um, and this is, uh, supposed to represent, uh, reasons it's Taurus. It's the divine on earth, you know, the Pope, I think, literally, uh, but uh, leaving all the uh, energy problems around the Pope uh, alone, and just saying the the, the uh, manifest, huh? Like uh, God manifest on Earth, like uh, spirit manifesting into reality, the 5D into the 3D. Um, and I think with the Hermit here, it's not wanting to leave this uh, cave, not wanting to leave the become become. Usually, this is very difficult energy. Some people never do this. In their whole lives some people are never the hermit you know i've been the hermit forever <laughs> and, and i think it's over but like there's wanting that uh, i think too of a train a lot you know with the astral train manifestation coming that hasn't gotten here yet and the momentum of things you know we're in energy i'm 62 this energy's been on my whole life it's been going on at least for 30 year cycles if not your whole lives and and now it's starting to change. Well, you got the train, you got momentum. You know, when you hit that break, as you've seen in many movies, the train doesn't stop right away. It keeps going, you know, for a good ways, for a good ways. Just carried by its own momentum. And that's the feeling I'm having of the momentum, you know. And it's like really settling on me. Like I said, I'm a little concerned. When I think of the fact that arrows can, that thoughts have become like arrows that can hit their mark before even being flung. Well, now how important is a thought? And how bad is it if I say, fuck that person, I hope they die, which I've done before. But I got really angry, you know, I'm, I'm not a vengeful person or anything, but sometimes it just flashed through my mind. Some sort of cut you off in traffic or something like that, I mean, you know, well, you're, you're already frustrated or something. Um, so, you know, that's, it's, a, it's daunting, I think, is the energy. Maybe that's why my hermit here is reversed, huh? That's if you're relating to that. Now, <laughs> What's this spirit's advice for us? And as advice from spirit, this is about setting boundaries, but I think this is also about speaking up, saying your truth. That's what, look at it, how it's holding up. It's like righteously. You know, and a, an ace here of anything is a firm, set, determined beginning. It's not something you're going to fall back on. You know, it's not a page. There's no seven of cups. There's no hanged man anywhere. It's a clear, firm ace of swords, and that's saying, I am here, I have made it, I am fulfilling my destiny, I am aligning with my soul's path right here and now, right here and now, aligning with my soul's path. You know, and I'm, that's, I think because this is in the blocking position, if it was in the, this position of the ace of swords, you know, suggestions, it would be, yeah, we need to do some inner work. What this is saying is we've done the inner work. We need to get out there and live and express it and be honest and be open. And I think this is how the world's going to change. It's not going to change from bullets. I mean, power versus force. It's not going to, no many, no amount of AKs and caves and ammo and gold and silver. You know, what's going to change when we all like just stand up for ourselves? And, you know, this doesn't even mean doing anything. It just means that this... Uh, internal transformation and then just proclaiming that we it's like you know it's like coming out of the closet you know it's exactly like you realize you're gay and you're like yeah I know like there's problems some people have and this and that and you know what but here's me this is how I am there's nothing wrong with it it's the right thing and I ain't you know I ain't hide my light under a bushel basket anymore and I might even talk about my light wow <clears throat> Significantly, I think this Knight of Pentacles now in the outcome is looking back at the Ace of Swords. 
And I said, I don't think this is a kind of thing that's like we've probably been to. Oh, we've been in the New Year's, New Year's resolution mentality. And then by, you know, uh, January 16th, we're, and we never go to the gym again. Gyms live on that. <laughs> they hire temp work for a few weeks and then they're good the rest of the year because everyone does this. But I think this is showing that it's sticking because what's going to stick in Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles is the fucking Terminator. You know, it, it's not going to stop to rest. It's not going to change its mind. It's not going to waffle. It's uh, determined. It's implacable. And that's showing that it's kind of like saying now and forevermore, we can be ourselves and it, we can rest assured that we'll be able to handle it. It won't lead us into ruin here. You know, uh, very solid. It's almost like a bookend. You know, you've got to, to reverse it to show it. You've got the Knight of Pentacles looking at the Hierophant here as we come in. And I want to tell you, this is nothing less than just spiritual mastery. It's operating maybe at a, at a higher level. I think this is operating at one of the highest levels that we ourselves can operate at. We're doing it, you know. Um, and we just need to move on into our own manifestation. I always knew all along, manifestation for me is spiritual because this Saturn, uh, Uranus uh, square, that's the big deal here, overriding everything. Uh, Uranus in my ninth house, and I think that's where you're going to get the change. Uranus is changing things. Uranus will win. Uranus will break uh, Saturn down. It will break down the walls, you know, in that house. And so uh, a lot of things happening there, you know, opening up for me, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now, Unlike the Knight of Pentacles that's facing back into the reading and particularly to this opening up and declaration of our own truth. This is a declaration of our own truth. Simple as that. We've got the Page of Cups moving on into the reading now. So I got to tell you, I said with the Hermit, this is blocking. We're having trouble really allowing ourselves to open up now, allowing the energy to flow we're finding it difficult to think like, wait, you mean I don't have to think about how this here situation relates to me when I was five and no, I don't have to do that anymore? What do I do? Well, you think about nothing or you just live or you have fun or you have an orgasm or you have a day at the beach or you just, you know, you make love, you write great poetry, you do your work, you know. Um, and you talk about like what you're doing and what you're thinking about and what you're feeling and what you want and what your desires are and Just future oriented stuff and it's all about how we love and with this cup here I'm thinking Venus and Capricorn which you probably know a lot out there on it's It's a good one to spend a little time, you know, just YouTube however you do it or Google if you read uh, Venus and Capricorn, you know, what's that transit going to be like? There's, a lot of really good stuff you know but this is us really stepping into our life now with our emotions and with the open heart here and it is childlike quality look at the page I love this with the childlike quality what's the last sin spiritual pride this is not spiritual pride this kind of could be but I think we need this you know I need it I got sun square the nodes we need to stand up and we need to say, you know what? Fuck you. This is me. Fuck you. This is me. I know I'm not going to apologize for me. And say it to whomever. <laughs> we need to say it to. You know, but it doesn't mean we have to be in this spiritually arrogant energy and have a chip on our shoulders. We go forward uh, with an open heart and loving heart, like a child, like a child into life, you know. Imagine, I'm feeling this. Thank you, Spirit. Honestly, thank you. Let me know. If you could think of somewhere to share this, any platform of social media, please do. You can help me out. Uh, like, uh, comment, helps the channel. Um, do uh, subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell. Check out my other readings. I'm doing like uh, five readings a day now. Four or five readings a day, depending on how I do the singles. Thank you, guys.